welcome to Blue Eye Media Tech Zone. Today we are going to talk how to interface a photo resistor module with Arduino and measure the intensity of light. There are two sessions in this video. The first session describes how to calculate the luminance of light using the photo resistor sensor module. In the second session, we will show you how to detect the presence and absence of light using the LDR sensor in Arduino. Before we start, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. A photoresistor sensor is used to determine the presence and absence of light. It also used to measure the intensity of the light. Here I am using a KY018 photoresistor module. It has three pins. Pin 1 returns the analog output, pin 2 is for input current. You can use a 5 volt input or 3.3 volt input and pin 3 is the ground. When a power source is connected to the photoresistor, it starts returning a variable output depending on the intensity of light falls on the photoresistor. When the intensity of light increases, the resistance of LDR decreases. Similarly, the resistance increases when the light decreases. It is time to start with our first project. Measure the intensity of light using Arduino and photoresistor module. In this project, I am using a photoresistor module KY018, Arduino Uno, and jumper wires. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. Connect pin 1 of the photoresistor to AO of Arduino. Then connect pin 3 of the photoresistor to the ground pin of Arduino. Finally, connect the pin 2 of the photoresistor to the 5 volt output of Arduino. Now the wiring part is completed. Let's quickly do the coding and burn it to Arduino. Launch Arduino IDE and write the code. I have already written the code and tested it. And it is given in the description box. Let us take a look at the final code. The first five lines of the code is a function that returns the intensity of light. There are two parameters we are passing through the function. The first parameter in val is the value read from a zero pin of Arduino. The second parameter, resistor, is the value of the resistor used in the photoresistor module. In my case, it is 10 kilo ohms. Serial dot begin 9600, here we are instructing the Arduino to start to exchange the message from Arduino to serial monitor at speed of 9600 bit per second. Now we are in the loop section of the code. The first line from the highlighted portion reads the value from the analog pin AO, and the second line passes the value of the resistor to the variable resistance. The rest of the lines print the value in the serial monitor window by sending the parameters to the function. You can see the second line from the highlighted portion calls the function calc light intensity which returns the intensity of the light. The last line stops the loop for one second and repeats the steps in the loop from the beginning. The code is ready. Let's burn it to Arduino and test the circuit. The code is written to Arduino successfully. Let's click on the tool menu and choose the item serial monitor to check whether Arduino is returning values. Let's do a quick experiment with a bottle cap and a torch. I am using a black bottle cap to cover the photoresistor so that no light is falling on it. I am also using a torch that produces high intensity light. I have covered the photoresistor of the module with a black cap. So I am getting an output of zero lux in the serial monitor window. When I slowly remove the cap out of the LDR you can see the intensity of light increasing.
Now let's see what happens when the brightest part of the torchlight falls on photoresistor. We get a spike of 1450 to 2600 lux value in the serial monitor window. Now we have learned, how to measure the intensity of light using a photoresistor module and Arduino. Let's move on to our next project, how to detect absence and presence of light using a photoresistor and Arduino. In this project, I use a photoresistor, Arduino Uno, LED bulbs, jumper wires, breadboard, and 330 ohms resistors. Let us modify our previous circuit from project 1 by adding LEDs and resistors. Connect the negative pins of LEDs to the ground pin of Arduino. Connect the positive pin of blue LED to a 330 ohm resistor and, then connect the open end of the resistor to the D4 pin of Arduino. Similarly, connect the positive pin of red LED to a 330 ohm resistor and, then connect the open end of the resistor to the D3 pin of Arduino. Now the circuit is ready, let's move on to the sketch. Open the Arduino IDE and write the sketch. I have already written the sketch and verified it. You can find the code in the description. The sketch itself is self-explanatory. However, let's have a look at the final code. The second line of the code send pin is assigned to the A0 pin of Arduino. In the fourth and fifth lines of the code, we have declared the variables red LED and blue LED and assigned the digital pin values to 3 and 4 respectively. We are in the setup portion of the sketch. Here we are instructing the Arduino to configure the digital pin 3 and 4 for output. The second line in the loop section instructs Arduino to read the values from the analog pin as 0 and assign it to the variable symbol. There are two conditions in the code. The first condition checks the value from the variable send val which is read from analog pin as 0. If the value is greater than 600, then execute the steps to illuminate red LED which represents the darkness. The delay command in the code stops the loop for one second and repeat the steps from the beginning. The second condition in the code checks the value from the variable send val, if the value is lesser than 600, then execute the steps to illuminate blue LED which represents the presence of light. Our code looks good, let's quickly burn it to Arduino and check the output. Look at the output now. When I cover the photoresistor with my finger, the red LED is glowing. It represents the absence of light. Similarly, when I remove the finger from the sensor, the blue one is glowing. It represents the presence of light. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon to get the notification of our new video uploads.